Hey guys, uh, I got called out by you on YouTube about this drawer, and I gotta respond. Okay, so maybe called out is a little bit extreme, uh, but we did have some comments and uh, some questions and some thoughts on how to do the drawer different, which is exactly what I ask for at the end of every video. So really there's nothing controversial about this, but uh, that image of me looking unhappy would probably be on the thumbnail. I don't make the thumbnails, but we'll see what happens. Anyhow, uh, I had a couple things come up, questions about making the drawer. One thing was called out that I did something incorrectly and I'm gonna address that, absolutely. Another was a different way to possibly make part of the drawer. We can ch check on that. And then another question about actually editing the drawer. Could we change the size of it? How would that work? So we're gonna look at that stuff right now. All right, so this is the file that I had. This is the actual drawer uh, that I created in that last live mo or, uh, video. Um, first things first, one of the things that was mentioned was that I did the dovetails backwards. Not in that the dovetails were done incorrectly, these should be these should work just fine, but the direction of the dovetails going the wrong way. That that meaning this piece right here and this piece right here should be the front and back and these should be the sides. Idea being that if this this whole thing was pulled by the drawer front, the tension would go into, you know, where the dovetail strongest rather than right now, it's gonna kind of pull it out. So let's take a look at doing that real quick. Um, this is easy and, and I absolutely, I, I went in, I just started drawing. I didn't think about how these, what direction these were facing whatsoever. So yeah, this was not, this was not correct. I, I fully own that one. Um, so what I wanna do is I'm gonna take these five pieces spin them around and then resize everything so it matches the same size of the drawer. So what I'm gonna do is real quick, I'm gonna make a new group that's just that, just the outside uh, here. I'm gonna raise it up just ever so slightly. So you can see all this is is a rectangle that's tracing the top of this drawer. And I could go in and note and write down the dimensions on both sides also, but this is easier for me, for my brain, just making a quick group that is reference geometry is gonna be easier than uh, trying to go through and um, remember what each side of the drawer dimension is. And then I'm just gonna take these pieces and pull them over like this. I uh, will start by spinning it 90 degrees. And now when I look at these individual pieces, so see these two are solid groups, these are groups. I didn't make these into components. So it would have been a whole lot easier to do the work I'm about to do if I made these in components. So we're gonna make them into components. To do that, I'm just gonna delete two of them. I'm gonna grab this one and I'm going to make a component. I'm just gonna call this side A. I'm gonna grab this one, make it a component and call it side B. This is not one of the things that anybody mentioned or said anything about. Uh, I just wanted to point this out because this is gonna make it easier to edit. Uh, one of the questions was how hard is it to change the size of stuff afterwards. And that's that's what we'll look at. And this is gonna make that easier as well. So I can take this piece and put it right back where it was by just option mirroring right there. Grab this one too, same thing. Option or modifier key mirror, different on Windows than it is on uh, Mac, of course. All right, so that looks pretty good. So first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna grab all of this and I'm gonna slide it over this way till it hits that piece. Then I'm gonna take this piece right here and I'm gonna slide it over, just use move till it goes there. And now I can grab this piece right here and I'm gonna use scale. There's a couple ways I could do this, but I'm gonna use scale, grab that middle handle and pull that till it slots right back into the middle of my slot there. All right, so far so good. Now what I have to do is I have to come into this piece, grab this right here and just pull it out to here. All right, so with that, we've made a square drawer. So if, if that was what we wanted to do, we'd be done. Butt that right back up against that base. All right, but it's not, of course, because life's never that simple. I'll just be honest with you guys. All right, so let's here's what we gotta do here. I'm gonna grab all of this and I'm gonna move it from the final edge. I'm gonna pull that back and just have that go to that right there. Click out of here, grab this one, 
move it straight back like that. And then final piece right here. So I was saying there's a couple ways to do it. I use scale last time. This time I'll actually go into the entity or go into the, the group, push, pull, and just drag that right back to here. With that, we have now changed the direction of those dovetails. So pretty quick, not, not a difficult process. And the same thing goes here for, let's, let's make a couple copies of this. Oh, I just noticed I didn't ever group that face. Oh man, who was watching me? Wow, somebody, somebody should be paying better attention to what I'm doing. All right, so I wanna do a couple different uh, versions here. So one I want to say is like, how, how wide is how wide is this drawer right now? This drawer is one foot six and three quarter. So I'm gonna say we have one that is nine inches wide. So maybe it's a, a smaller piece um, up above, whatever, I don't know. Uh, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this piece and this piece is gonna slide over this way, nine inches. That's where I want it. That's the final width of the drawer that I want. So I could do a couple things here. So this piece, just like we did before, I could pull this back in, hit it into the slot, we'll do that, that's simple. The other piece means taking these two and pulling them over just like we did before. But if I do that right now, right, if I come in here right now, grab this, just like I did before, slide it back, look what happens, great, that looks good. But if I look at all my other pieces, oops, that's not gonna work. So what I'm gonna do before I move anything is I'm gonna select both of these and hit Make Unique. Now when I hit Make Unique and two items are selected, I knew have a, have a new instance now that is these two. What that means is if I grab this and slide this back, see the other one comes along with it. So these two are unique together, if that makes sense. <laughs> They're unique at the same time, which I defies the, the meaning of unique, I know, but you know, that's what it does. So if you have multiple selected, it'll make a new instance of those selected copies. All right, to get this bottom in here, I'm just gonna right click and just do a quick hide. And then I can do the same thing I did before. I can select right here, scale. I like working with like extruded rectangular shapes because you can scale everything. Everything is scalable. I can't do that. Um, so I'm just gonna say edit, unhide, last, and that's gonna bring it back. I can't do that with like this piece. If I grab this piece and I hit scale and I pull it out, I can't just pull this out because look, look at watch my dovetail down here on this end. See how it stretches? I can't do that unless it's just a pure rectangle like this. And that's why that it's it's just so easy to do that. All right, so last thing I have to do, of course, is pull the face over on this drawer. So um, again, my shortcut for this is just gonna be to check, okay, it's a half inch. So what I'll do is I'll just come over here and draw a half inch line. Then I'll grab Again, I can't, I can't scale this. I gotta go into context, grab all the geometry that makes up the end, and then pull it back this way until I hit that line that I put in as reference. I can click out, erase that line, and there we go. So now I have a drawer that's half the size. Well, let's say, hold on, you say, but wait. What if the width is right, but I need it to be shorter? So right now we got a drawer that's, this is five inches. What if it's supposed to be a three inch tall drawer? Well, let's do that. So I'm gonna do this a different direction. I'm gonna go right here first, and I'm gonna grab that, and I'm gonna drop that down two inches. All right, so that's my new front. Maybe this is like the top drawer in a dresser or something like that. Now, as far as this goes, so like I said, because this is not a simple rectangle, it's not quite as easy as going, all right, I'll just grab this top geometry and then drop it down two inches you can see that's not gonna work. That's gonna make a mess. So what I'm probably gonna have to do in this case is go in and chop it off two inches down instead. Now, same thing happens here. One, two, three, four, all need to be made unique. So that's not now four new unique pieces, that's two unique pieces, two copies of each. So I'm gonna come into this one right here. I'm gonna come here, I'm gonna see where two inches is. Oh, look at that, two inches right in the middle of that dovetail. So I'm just gonna go ahead and run that across like that, push that across like that. This may not be proper dovetailing technique. That looks awful slim right there. We may have to clean that up, but I'm gonna come in over here. And with this one, I'm just gonna draw a line like this and push that all across like that. And then triple click here, delete it. Oops, this is on the other one. Got some extra geometry there, delete that. 
And there we go. Like I said, I'm not 100% sure if that's going to pass the dovetail police. Um, what I may want to do is something like grabbing this section and pulling it down. Yeah, even another eighth of an inch. Oops, I grabbed the top two. I won't do that. Uh, let's see what would be the best way to do this. We probably hide the rest of the model. Actually, we just got to move this one down. So if I grab, if I want to put an extra eighth inch, grab that piece, grab that piece. Just do do, do both sides at the same time. And we'll drop it down. Let's see. Yeah, let's go down three sixteenths of an inch. Perfect. And then we can do the same thing here. And this is just going to mean selecting this piece and this piece. And then we can uh, unhide the rest of the model. And that way we can actually use snaps to make sure everything's perfect. And there we go. So pretty quick, pretty easy, uh, not too difficult. Um, but that gives us three different drawers with proper dovetails. And uh, yeah, sized in a couple different ways. So uh, I think I got everything that was mentioned. I didn't. I didn't get everything that was mentioned. One of the other things they talked about, uh, we had a comment in the first video that said when you put dovetails in the first piece and you overlap the second, couldn't you use solid tools to trim that? And that absolutely would work. I didn't do that. I drew lines and push-pulled um, because I did. That's what happened. <laughs> so you could absolutely do that. Put your dovetails on. We've done a couple other videos just on dovetails. So you could check those out too. And I think that was a solution I offered. Put the dovetails in one. Use trim to cut it out of the second. Uh, either way works. But uh, yeah, there we go. So I just wanted to point this out and say, this is why we, we talk about, we ask you for, please do comment. Please let us know your thoughts on what we're doing. Um, you know, fill it in like, 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 Go to comments and tell us your thoughts. There's different ways you do it. You have questions about how we did it. Um, and we also got a lot of feedback on new ideas for videos, different things to model, different workflows to show. So uh, hopefully you guys will keep doing that because we love this. We love doing this. But uh, like I said, it's your guys' input that makes it makes us know that what we're doing is worth it. So if you haven't already done it, do click like on the video down below. We appreciate that very much. And if you're not subscribed, and you've gotten this far in the video, you should probably subscribe. We create a lot of content. You'll be notified of all of it if you subscribe. And I've already ground this into the ground. Seems redundant. Uh, but please do leave comments. Let us know what you think of this. If you think there's a different way you should do it. If you caught me out on something I didn't do right. Love hearing it. Like making these videos a lot. Like them more when they're showing something you want to see. Thank you.